Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to design a intake manifold by using the SolidWorks tools. So friends, I hope you will enjoy this video. So let's see how to make it in SolidWorks. Let's start. At first, select front plane. Go for this. this. From here, select corner rectangle and draw a rectangle here. Okay, now choose a smart dimension and keep the length of this line 71.4147 millimeter and this line 263.53 millimeter okay now from the origin point to this point this distance will be 123.83 millimeter and the height will be to three zero point double eight millimeter. Okay. Now again select corner rectangle and draw here. Now choose smart dimension and keep here the distance nineteen point zero five millimeter and keep this line. 63.5 millimeter this line 38.1 millimeter and this two 14.32 millimeter okay now from here select fillet and fillet it 6.35 millimeter and select this four corner okay now select all of this and from here go for linear sketch pattern reverse the direction put here 69.85 millimeter to okay again select linear sketch pattern reverse the direction and here now put 142.88 millimeter okay now is case out see now select front plane and top plane and from here go for reference geometry choose plane see okay okay increase it okay now again select reference geometry go for plane and now here put 82.55 millimeter flip offset okay now select plane one hide it now select plane two go for this case make it normal now again select corner rectangle and draw a rectangle here okay now choose smart dimension and now keep the height 63.5 millimeter okay and this length 398.89 millimeter and keep this height 279.40 from origin point to this point 238.13 millimeter okay now select again corner rectangle and draw a corner rectangle here okay now choose smart dimension again keep the length of this line 31.75 millimeter this distance will be 33.02 okay and this distance 12.7 millimeter okay 
now from here to center line and from the midpoint to midpoint draw here a center line select this line and make it horizontal okay okay now choose corner fillet again select all of this four corner yes 6.35 millimeter okay now again select all of this and from here choose linear sketch pattern reverse the direction keep here 146.05 millimeter and we want G number of pattern okay now see now sketch out now from here select boundary boss and base okay now select this point okay select the boundary area now select this point okay here select this point again boundary area select this point again okay now see now from here choose normal to profile again here normal to profile now see okay from here select is case one show select two boundary boss base now select this point boundary area okay select this point boundary area again at that point okay now again make normal to profile here also normal to profile okay again select boundary boss base select this point boundary area select this okay select this point boundary area again select okay same normal to profile normal to profile and unmark the mars result okay from another two boundary also unmars mars result okay now see now hide this plane and from here hide this two also now select shell and shell them and keep the thickness 6.35 millimeter select here the faces okay okay it will create some problem so select here shell outward now okay now see select this face go for shell and this face okay select this face shell and this face okay now see it's perfect from here show the sketch again now select this and from here choose extruded boss base here selected contours clear it now extruded it up to 9.52 millimeter unmark the mars result now select ok see this line go for extruded boss base here unmark the mars result and keep the dimension here 50.8 millimeter make it clear now see ok 
now again hide the is case now choose fillet and here keep the dimension 5 mm select this s okay now again select fillet and fillet up to 15 mm okay now see now select this face go for this case make it normal now choose center line and from the midpoint draw a center line here okay this case out now direct editing to move oblique copy bodies mark the copy from here select the whole body here select all body okay and rotate select this axis center axis and keep here 180 degree okay now see hide the sketch select this face go for this case make it normal and from here select circle and from the midpoint draw a circle here okay at first remove this relation now from here select dimension and keep the diameter 50.8 mm and from the midpoint to this distance will be 43.6 okay 43.6 mm now select this face go for this case now select this line convert entities from extruded boss and extruded it up to 25.4 mm and in direction to 15 mm okay now again select this and go for extruded boss and in direction to from here choose unmars option okay now select this face go for this case and from here choose offset entities reverse it and keep here 6.35 mm okay now from feature choose extruded cut keep here to all okay now see see this is the engine intake manifold so friends i hope you like this video so please subscribe my channel to get more videos about solidworks so friends thank you for watching and keep in touch with me